Hello, I'm Miss Barkwood, Vice Principal Curriculum, and I'm just going to take a few minutes to talk to you about the Year 10 Subject Choice process. This is the first in a series of videos that we have produced to help support you and your son through this stage of decision making. It has been a difficult Year 9 and Year 10 for your son with disruption to his education and we need to keep him looking forward to the important choices that he will make and crucially those GCSEs that will start him on his pathway forward with us hopefully through to A level and beyond. GCSEs are the basis of qualifications that will be viewed by employers and further in higher education to make judgments on your son. So the choices that he makes are important. Some GCSEs are really crucial for further pathways. And if your son is one of those year 10s who has a very clear idea of the subjects that he wants to study, the subjects that he enjoys and that he feels that he is strong at, perhaps he has a very clear idea of what he would like to go on and study at A level, or perhaps he has a very strong notion of a career pathway or a university course he would like to follow, that is very often a good position to be in. Equally, there may be year 10s who feel much less certain about what they want to do at GCSE. And that's okay. We're here to guide pupils and yourselves through that process. It is good to have a broad and balanced set of qualifications. People change their minds about what they want to do as they go through school. And we hope that the information that we provide to you will give you what you need to help your son make the decisions he needs to. I would recommend that you and your son watch the materials in the videos and read the subject information together as a family. I suggest that as you do that, you make a list of any questions that you might have. That would be really useful to have for when we make contact with you for the, the phone interview. It means then we can make best use of our time and really get the answers to the questions that you need. Mrs Dehan, who is a senior teacher in charge of the subject choice process, will talk you through the detail of the different rounds of voting that we have to come about with our final set of options. So I hope you will find that information clear and it makes the process easy for you to understand. We have a tried and trusted method of subject choice process at Boys Model. And we try to give the pupils a strong input into their, their preferences about the subjects that they would want to see delivered on our curriculum and also the combinations that are most popular for them. So the different rounds of voting that we have allow their voice to be heard. I also want to reassure you that we have experience of running this process virtually. Last year we did have Year 10 in school with us for the start of the process. Unfortunately, that is not the case this year. But we did find that when we went virtual with the, the conclusion of the process, that that worked very effectively. So we are aiming to replicate the, the events that your son would have experienced in school and the events that you would have in a normal year where you would be invited up and you would get information from us. We have attempted to replicate that virtually. That means that you'll be able to watch this at your own pace and go away, watch a couple of videos, come back and have discussions about it. But please do remember that we are on hand to answer any questions that you have. I have made reference to the interview that you will have with us and that will be discussing what your son's thinking of doing once we get to blocked boat stage, but also to answer any queries that you might have about particular subjects or combinations of subjects. But if you have questions before that, in the PowerPoint uh, that Mrs Dean will take you through, she will signpost uh, different members of staff who you can bring those queries to before that point. So we're really looking forward to having your sons back in school and teaching them in the usual way that, that we all feel most comfortable with. In the meantime, I hope that he finds the process of making decisions about his future motivating and that engages him with school and thinking about how he can be best getting on with his work at the moment to best prepare him for the start of his GCSEs. Nothing about this situation is ideal, 
but we're still planning for the future and we hope your sons are too. So we really look forward to speaking with you and I hope you're all keeping well and, and keeping safe during this period. So I'll hand over to my colleague to talk to you in the next video about the subject choice process. Thank you.